That is a terrible intro. We're going to try that again. And then there was Vic. <laughs> <laughs> What's up you guys, Victor Lopez here with a DIY. Now today's DIY isn't exactly gonna be fancy. We're not gonna be building things like this, although I know this isn't exactly fancy, but I built it myself, damn it. Please like it. Even though I don't have it on the tracks yet. I literally just have the tracks sitting on the floor. I just really like this as a corner piece. But you didn't really need to know that now, did you? Anyways, <laughs> today we're gonna be changing out the Fluid Master in the toilet because my toilet is running as of yesterday. My kids flushed the toilet, and I thought that somebody was in there just letting the water run. All I heard was shh. But my kids were sitting next to me, and then I really got confused. I was like, wait a minute, who the hell else is in the house? Anyways, so this is for the folks. I'm not even sure if I said this already, and I probably said it, but another take, but we're going to say it again anyways. This is for the folks that don't live in an apartment complex, that you don't have the luxury of just calling a maintenance guy to come and fix this. If you're a homeowner, these are things that you got to learn how to do. And uh, we're going to do that. Not that glamorous, but it's a DIY nonetheless. You have to do it yourself, right? <laughs> With that being said, <clears throat> watch out now. It's about to get wet. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is flush the toilet. And this is where your towel comes in handy. You're gonna go ahead and sop up all the remaining water. Unfortunately, in my toilet, that centerpiece comes up about an inch. So I had to undo the rest to let the rest of the water drain out. That's actually where the bucket comes in. Catch all that water that's about to fall out when you take everything apart, all right? In this next part, you're gonna see me go off frame. I start taking off the screws. Once you get that up, you're, this is where the two channel locks come in. Once you pick that up, you need to uh, brace it from both sides to get the, the big nut off that's right there on the bottom of that tank. You're going to notice that my bucket kept filling up and it's because I turned off the water right there at the valve and the main water of the house and I still got a slow trickle. So make sure you can get your water off completely before you get started on this job. Otherwise, you're going to have a big mess in your hands. And guys, just honestly, just follow the, the instructions in the, in the package. It tells you what to do step by step. You can do this. Damn. I hope you still work. 